I'm a low carbon master chef for everybody and today we're going to make a quiche. This is one of my favorite recipes so I'm super excited to be able to share it with you guys. I've made this maybe like 20 times. This is one of my favorite recipes and that's because it's really easy to make but it looks like you put in a lot of effort. It's great food to share for over holidays for example or when you have a fancy dinner party. Um, so in this video I'm going to show you how to make this quiche. Um, it's also a basic recipe, so I've used um, some vegetables like mushrooms, leeks and um, tomatoes But you can use any type you like, you can make a lot of different versions I've made it with asparagus, broccoli, with sweet potato There are so many different ways that you can make it to a whole different dish And it's definitely nice to make to surprise your guests So if you want to know how to make this quiche, keep on watching so what we're going to do now is we're going to fry up some vegetables for the filling of the quiche. What I've got here is some olive oil, some fresh spinach, um, some leeks, these are cut up finely. I've got some mushrooms and then I've got just some red onion and some garlic. The garlic is finely chopped. And we're going to fry these all so we can make a delicious vegetable layer for our quiche. So the onions have been cooking for, uh, and the mushrooms have been cooking for a few minutes. As you can see, they're perfectly golden brown. I'm gonna add in the leeks now. These only need to stir for a bit, so you'll stir them around for a few minutes, and then we can quickly add the spinach. So as you can see, the spinach is reduced, so I'm gonna add the final bit of spinach now. And make sure that this spinach is that all the vegetables are reduced and cooked. Then take it off the heat and let it cool down for five minutes so that they're not steaming hot when you put it on the puff pastry. Um, so let it cool down for a bit. In the meantime, we're gonna prepare the tofu and roll out the puff pastry, and then we're gonna assemble our quiche. So now we're gonna make the cream layer of the tofu. Usually you would make um, this with eggs or with any type of dairy, like eggs and milk and cheese. But we're gonna make it vegan. So what we're gonna use is tofu. I'm using firm tofu here, but silicone tofu also works. Um, because we're using firm tofu, I have a bit of water here, because liquid makes it easy to puree. Then I've got here some black salt, which is called black salt, even if it's pink. But yeah, that's the way it is. Um, this really works well in quiche because it gives an egg-like flavor to the tofu. I've got some garlic here, one clove, um, and here I've got some nutritional yeast. Um, this will give uh, also a savory flavor to the tofu, uh, some would say a cheese kind of flavor. So now that the vegetables are cooled and we made the tofu for the cream layer of the quiche, we're now going to roll out the puff pastry. I used some ready-made puff pastry. Make sure that you check if it's vegan or not, because some has milk or butter in it. But this one is vegan. Most of them are, actually. So I greased this um, tin with a bit of olive oil. You can use it with butter, other kinds of oil, doesn't really matter. Just a bit of oil to make sure that the quiche doesn't stick to it. So, we prepared everything, now we're gonna assemble the quiche. And here is how your quiche should be looking before you put it in the oven. Um, I preheated the oven at 180 degrees. We're gonna put it in for 30-35 minutes. This is really something you gotta trust what you see. Um, if it looks golden brown and the top will be a bit brown, the puff pastry will become like really crispy and yeah, golden brown, then it's perfectly fine. If you think it still looks a bit bleak, a bit white, just leave it in there for a few minutes. Just trust yourself at this point. Um, but 30 to 35 minutes, that should do the trick. And make sure to cool it down a bit before you cut it up, just so that it doesn't crumble. Um, yeah, once you cut it into pieces. So let's pop it in the oven. So, the quiche is ready, it's out of the oven. We let it bake for 35 minutes on 180 degrees, as I mentioned. And you want to sh make sure that you let it cool down a bit so that you can cut really nice pieces without the whole thing crumbling. So this is the final result. Thank you guys for watching. This is also the last uh, low carbon master chef video for me. Thank you all for watching the videos. I hope you enjoyed the recipes. And uh, thanks for watching.